money, everything. Hi there, guys. It's Ollie here, and uh, today I am on Tropico Four. Tropical project. I believe I found the solution to this problem. Isla de Hierro is rich with iron and other minerals. Most foreign companies avoid the island due to suspected seismological activity. I That's nice. No time. Anyway, so, uh, Tropico 4 is a game about uh, running your own island in whichever way you choose. So, you have to choose a character that you like, or you can make your own. Uh, so, I'm going to make the most fascist character I can make, being me. So, I think I'm going to call him, um, hmm, what am I going to call him? Uh, what could we call him? Uh, I might call him General Ollie or something. Yeah, that'll do. General Ollie. So, this is just... I'm going to do a test. This is almost a pilot. Uh, so it's a pilot series, whether you like this or not. Uh, space. Oh, General. I'm just going to call him General. Sounds cool. Uh, right, all the background. I'm going to be... Born in the purple. So, I was, um, oh, <laughs> Generalissimo, sounds cool. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be elected as a capitalist, or I might just, um, oh, fascist, there we go. Next is fascist. There we go. And, um, so, I'm gonna be corrupt. You choose your, you choose your characteristics, and it, it basically gives you, uh, it's basically running your own island. Uh, it's set in the 1950s and develops through to about the 19, I don't know what it is, might be 2000s, I've only gotten to about 1990s is one of mine. So, you, you then choose uh, your character, you can choose what you want, so I think I'm going to go for... Corrupt, sounds cool. Next one. I reckon I'm probably going to go for, uh, uh, I'm not going for Green Thumb, that's gay. Hypochondriac, I'm like that in real life. So that'll be cool. Ooh, Kleptomaniac, sounds cool. I'll be that as well. And now we play. So, I've just chosen Generalissimo. And, um, let's just listen. A billionaire took an interest in our little island, Presidente. CEO Keith Preston. This man is the Caribbean business. Okay. Mm, you are listening to TNT and I want you to can mind. um we have a 24/7 hotline for spiritual, musical and Don't listen to her. Uh so here he just uh he's one of your advisors and he tells you things. Uh so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you get given tasks and it's like a menu that you have to run. A bit like this, so it's controlling like this. I first found this game through William, my partner, on um, uh, DRSX Wall. So this is our other channel where we play other games. So I've just decided to play Tropico. Um, so you build things. You, you basically build services. So you get this special um, special menu where you choose what you want to build. And I wanted to build a mine. And there's one over here. So I'm going to build the mine over here, but I've, I, I'm, I'm going to, this is just the beginning, so whether or not you want to, if, once you see this, if you post in the comments whether or not you think I should carry on doing this, or should just take it to a stage where I've taken my uh, fascist empire to a uh, uh, to a new height, um, I'm just trying to construct this road, uh, taking it to a new height, because this is just the beginning, um, where I'm creating all of the little tasks they want me to do. I mean, at some point I'll get a nuclear testing facility up and that kind of thing. Uh, but hopefully you like this game. Hopefully I'm going to make you do it. This is almost like a review as well, if you like. Um, to make you buy it. Uh, I think you like it if you if you like me anyway. It's a bit like Sim City, except you're on your own Caribbean island, so not really. Uh, there's a shanty town there. So basically, it's all about uh, you have to control an island in, wh in whichever way you want. So you can use like military force, 
where you can be like a person of the people and you can um be all nice and shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. No, I I uh, I no, yeah, I'm not gonna be nice. I'm gonna be like a dictator. Anyway, so I'm just building the roads so that my builders can get to my salt mine and um uh, so that they can do it. So in the bottom left hand corner it shows you all of your statistics. So uh, we have top left, we have the date and all that, and then the little smiley face is the happiness. Uh, the, the icon underneath that is the population of the island. And then you just have the money that you are, you've got to spend and so on. Uh, and then you have just below that the, the uh, along next to menu you have the status of the game so you can have it in pause uh, normal state fast forward or like ultra fast forward or something so at the moment I think first of all I'm going to build a construction office because they um oh, uh, they because construction offices they um enable you to have more builders so they they create faster building things so this is the port and I haven't explained that you also have to maintain foreign relations as well in that you don't want to uh, piss off either the uh, communists or the uh, capitalists which I think I'm going to piss off the communists and I might end up getting invaded so I'm going to have to build a really big army that'd be cool um, uh, there are lots of different islands on this game which is quite cool um, I'm going to be just demonstrating this island in particular I think I might Quick build. Oh no, we've got one builder building that, but you can you can see the little builder. Come on, hurry up! I've never actually watched them do it. So one person manages to build this whole thing quite quickly. So let's just speed this up by holding the right trigger and then sticking it on fast forward. I'm going to also have a look at the overlays, natural resources, iron, because I've been told I need to get lots of iron. So there's another mine over here where I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick two down there. So I'm going to press Y to build. Yeah, it's a really good game uh, if you like something. If you like Sims, this is probably a good game for you. Um, I I don't like... I mean, Will likes Sims. He'll probably end up... I think he's got Sims on the Xbox. So I can see him doing a series on it. Salt mine. Why do I want a salt mine? No one wants a salt mine. Anyway, so I've got... I don't want all metals on iron. Okay, so we've got... That there, I've got two on there so that I can get more money, and I'm in debt now. You can see in the bottom left hand corner. Um, I'm going to try and make this a pretty short episode, even though it's been about seven minutes or eight, eight minutes now. Um, I'm basically just trying to show you how to start your uh, fascist dictatorship. I, was, I did state that I was elected, but I couldn't see anything about being uh, rising to power forcefully. Anyway, so. I usually create some sort of like um oh I usually create some sort of um uh like uh area for different resources and things. So for instance here is my mining area and when that one over there runs out that'll um that will end up being like I'll uh, make this my farm area I think. But um, I need some imports to come in, so occasionally you'll see a ship. Oh, here we go. CEO Keith Preston, please have my card. I believe you already got my check. Anyway, so I'm have to. I just completed my first challenge, I think, where I had to build the iron mines. Uh, I can just check actually. Oh no, I can't check. I could check. Anyway, so I just complete my first objective to build the iron mines. Now I have to export it to get money. So I've got given quite a bit of money now. And I use this money to carry on building roads. No, I mean, uh, at the moment, I'm just doing it for... Uh, Alright, I'm going to build some farms, I think, because they're good. Um, for the people. They make the people happy. Um, food and resources. Farm, what do we want? Oh, corn. I seem to remember corn's good for feeding people, so I'll leave that on there. Right, I think I'm going to build a tenement over here because the people seem to be living in shanty towns. So you can, you can build nuclear um, 
things, that kind of thing. Uh, you can wield nuclear thingamajigs. My Xbox is sort of froze there. It wasn't the uh, recording thing, I don't think. Um, so you can do different kind of things. At the moment, it looks a bit bare. Unfortunately, that. No, come back! Please! Oh, it's gone. So, um. Uh, what's the saying? I was talking about. Oh, look, yeah, see? Uh, foreign nations have deteriorated due to our national debt. So basically, this game is just about developing what you're you're doing. And oh, I need a favor, partner. If we lower the iron export price by ten percent, we'll lose some profits. But we're bound to force some of the competition out of business. All right, I want I wanted to go to the treasury. I think because I'm I'm all for the island. Um, yeah. Uh, um, what I think I'm going to do is try and make the people happy. Actually, I'm, I might not, but I've got to make sure that I have a big army before I try and do that, because then they'll overthrow me. I don't understand why they're all... Oh, no, I do understand, because it's not built yet. Let's take a higher building priority on it. High construction priority. So we've got our two mines over here, and we've got one person working in that one, and one person working in that one. We can, we can see the status of everything, and we can... Uh, manage the wages, we can set the same wage for all miners uh, we can set wage for, we do, you can basically it's like managing your own island uh, and then so you sort of get a different uh, foreign relations also help uh, as you saw on the um, uh, up top middle screen now uh, because I'm a capitalist or a fascist the um, the US don't mind me because I'm a nice guy to them because I'm not threatening them with, uh, because of communism but um, they give me more money and uh, as the game develops what's that white thing over there? that's my mind as the game develops the um, the uh, people you de uh, depend on sort of uh, you might you end up with friends and people that you don't like you because of uh, what party side you take or what, what uh, political view you take so it's quite a good game uh, you can then you can build airports as it gets onto it, oil rigs I'll have a look actually, you can build industry, nuclear power plant somewhere, is that that's in the government I reckon I know, well anyway actually if you do look in government, nuclear program down at the bottom I'm going to get myself one of them <laughs> at some point I'm also going to get quite a few of those because I need to defend myself um, housing, I will probably end up getting everybody then. Uh, you can just, it sort of like varies uh, the amount of, so it's all about trying to keep in control of the island. If you don't like this kind of video, then uh, I would recommend that you uh, stop watching now. Um, no, I don't mind. If you, let me know if you don't, if you like it. So give it a like and uh, subscribe. Oh, bollocks, I've got to build a clinic. Right. So, uh, this has been uh, Ollie on uh, DRS X World doing the first video on uh, Ollie's uh, fascist dictatorship. So, when the elections do come, you can count on me for rigging them. So, uh, this has been Ollie on DRS X World HD. If you liked it, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, well, I hope you like it.